Hello, this is Eric from My Songbook App. You can find our webpage at mysongbookapp.com. I've at, been asked to show another example of importing songs, this time from eChords. I've not looked at this site a lot, but was recently introduced to it, and looks like it has lots of nice music. The songs are shown in this positional formatting, and I'm going to show how to take them from there and get them into your app. Okay. So back here on my website, uh, there is lots of information about this, and it's not as easy as we would like it to be, obviously. Um, but if you want to start, you can look at it this importing overview and we're going to come back to this in a minute and it'll basically say you've got to take a song and make it into this format and here is in kind of text view and then email that to yourself and then on your iOS device and then you'll be able to import it so let's do that here we are at eChords and here's a song I've never been to Spain and it shows up in this format. Now, immediately I can see that the music may not be perfect here because this chord G, my guess is it actually should be here on Spain. So you always have this condition where you're, you have to, may need to clean up the song to get it exactly as you want. But from E chords, the way you get this into my songbook, first step would be to get it into a text form. And here they have this text version over here. I will click that. That will create a download. I'll go to my downloads folder and I will mention I am running on a Mac. A Windows machine will be slightly different. And you do need to be a little bit capable of handling a text editor and um, email and doing email attachments so there is a little bit of computer knowledge that's required to go through this so here's that download it just came in if I open it you'll see that it's in this positional format where the chords are above the lyrics okay what we need to be able to do is convert from this positional format to this more inline or chord pro type format. Going back to my web page here, you'll see here's kind of the Chord Pro. This is the input format it's going to require. Okay. Switching back to this. So there's a tool online that I like to recommend to do this and I use myself. It's out here at ugeeks.com slash tools. And so you see here they have this little formatter that will take a song that has the positional formatted on multiple lines and then make it into an embedded format. So what I will do, I will go to this song over here. I will copy it. Now I'm going to, I'm going to leave these uh, chord diagrams off because my songbook will do that uh, much better automatically. So I'll copy that come back to this page um, delete that I'll paste it in here okay you can ignore these red lines that's grammarly I uh, didn't turn it off before I started doing this so I'll run this formatter and you'll see it comes up over here and it has embedded those chords into here a couple other problems it, it does have uh, some blank spaces in the front we might want to do. We may want to move some of these chords, um, like the G I mentioned, probably goes right over the S in Spain. But I don't know. Um, I'm more of a programmer than a musician. So I'm just going to uh, pretty much leave this as is. Um, I will clean up some things. Um, but we need to get it saved into a text document now. So what I'm, gonna do, I'm just going to copy this out of here now. And I'm going to go back to this just because I need the text editor. I'm going to delete everything here. I will paste in this new version. Okay. 
So now we have it, it's closer. I'm going to do some cleanup and going back here to my songbook uh, help page on this, you'll see that the format is title, artist, blank line, section title, you always need one, the lyrics with the embedded chords, a blank line, section title, lyrics. So we need to get it into that format. Well, we have the data we need here, so I will take um, I will take this title and put it there. Okay, and I'm just going to delete these leading spaces because we don't really need them. Um, we do need a section title here. Uh, I think this is probably the verse. And you can put, you can have any titles you want. Uh, certain ones do get special highlighting. Uh, and we'll call this. I might be might be getting this wrong, but uh, I see that there's a three down here, and I think that probably because this is verse three. And this it says solo, and I think this repeat. Maybe part of this or some instructions. Either way, we'll just leave it there like that. Delete these extra spaces. And then there's like one more section down here. And we just have a section title. And we can just leave it like that. It'll come in as a section title. Okay. Okay, one part I need to really mention here is that this format is very strict. And we can see by clicking out here that there actually are spaces in this line. There are not any spaces up here. And if we don't remove these spaces, then it's going to take all this as being part of verse 1. So we need to do that in between all of these. So up here, just I'm going to highlight and delete just to make sure I'm deleting everything out of those lines. Um, you know, you could click on the end and delete. Um, so. Now, I just need to save this and email it to a device that has my songbook. So, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to save this back. And now I'm going to go to my mail program. And I'm going to write a new mail message. I'm going to send it to an email address that I have accessible on my iOS device. Uh, you can name it anything you want. I will call this Never in Spain. Okay. You could put text in here if you want for something, but main thing we need to do is to put this song in there as an attachment. On the Mac, I can just drag it over like this and send that away. Okay, now we see my iPhone. I am in the mail app looking in the inbox. You may hear the email go out and here it comes into uh, the mail. I will tap on that. You see the email message come in with the attachment. Now if I just tap on this, it will just display the text that we emailed. That's the default iOS behavior. To get this into my songbook, you long tap, which is to tap and hold. You'll see that it change, and then you'll get the share dialog to come up. Here's copy to my songbook in this share list. Now, yours might be out here at the end, and you can use more to configure how these show up and what shows up in this list. At this point, I'll just tap on copy to my songbook. It will launch my songbook and set that up for import. And so there's some options on how you import, but all we need to do is click import now. You will see this song come in down here when I tap this below the H's because uh, the title, which is the sort order, is I have never been to Spain. So I'll tap on import now. You see it immediately show up, and you now have it in here. 
If we tap on it, we will see it in here. And we see it's imported. Okay, I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.